The main character of the film Sophie is in a romantic relationship with oilman Stephen who has a son Odin. She is working on a project of a marine underwater drone for underwater search operations. In the evening, Sophie and her partner went to a party organized by Sophie's husband. It brought together Stephen's colleagues oil workers. Everyone was having a very good time, someone was playing games and someone even managed to swim in the ocean. In the morning Sophie came to work as usual. But after a while she got a call and was informed that something had happened to the oilman and Sophie and her partner urgently needed to go to them by helicopter. Having collected the necessary things, they were ready to take off, but a man approached them. He ran the emergency department. The man gave the non-disclosure papers and after they signed them, he began to leave. Sophie asked what happened and where they were being taken, but the man did not answer, but simply said that another representative of the emergency department would go with them. After a while, they were already on the ship. They were taken to a cabin specially prepared for them. They were told that an oil production platform had recently sunk, and she sank because of the subsidence of the soil. The purpose of their search was to find living people on the sunken object. Since the platform sank very quickly, air pockets could remain in it. William Liu, the emergency department manager, hoped that Sophie and her partner would use their underwater robots to search for people. That's what they did. The robot was lowered into the water and directed to the flooded platform. To enter the platform, it was necessary to open the door. With the help of a special remote control, Sophie was able to do this. When the door opened, a corpse appeared in front of the robot. He was immediately identified and the robot went on. After a while, another victim was found. But they did not despair and continued on their way. A little later, they heard a sound and sent a robot there. There was a man standing on the stairs. At first he was very scared of the robot, and then he realized what was the matter and began to ask for help. While Sophie and her partner were asking William what to do, the man began to choke and cough. Sophie immediately understood what was going on. She ran out of the cabin and ran to the captain of the ship. Sophie reported a gas leak, but it was too late. The oil rig exploded and the ship on which the main character is located is damaged and ends up in the hospital. Stephen comes to pick her up and since Sophie can't be alone, they go to live in his house. Sophie's assistant Arthur, looking through the videos made by their underwater drone, found that the cause of the disaster was not subsidence of the ground, as stated in the official version, but a giant fracture of the seabed of the North Sea. The next morning, Stephen is called to the oil production platform to work. Sophie and Odin stay at home. Arthur called Sophie and asked her to come. Arthur informs Sophie about his discovery, and she contacts the head of the emergency department of the Saga Company and shows him the video and the cause of the disaster. This evening, the Saga Company held a meeting at which they told that the reason for the flooding of the platform was not subsidence of the ground, but something more terrible and dangerous. It was decided to stop work on the platforms and evacuate people. The evacuation began in the morning. There were about 350 oil platforms in total and there were people on each of them who needed to be rescued. The evacuation was announced on the radio and Sophie started calling Stephen. On the very platform where Stephen is located, almost all the staff was also evacuated except for the last batch, and then they receive a message that one of the wells on their platform does not close automatically and it must be closed manually. Stephen volunteered to do it. Meanwhile, communication with all platforms at the headquarters was cut off. Stephen went down to the level of the well and when he was about to close it, there was a water breakthrough and the tunnel was flooded with water. At the same time, the last batch of people at the top hurriedly gets into the helicopter and they barely have time to take off when one of the four pillars of the platform collapses. Sophie went to the Saga Management Center with Odin. There she is informed that Stephen is most likely dead. Sophie asks to send someone to the platform and rescue Stephen. But she is refused because now it is very dangerous. Sophie does not believe in the death of her beloved and asks to show her the videos from the surveillance cameras. There, together with the technician, they come to the conclusion that Stephen could have escaped by hiding in one of the technological compartments. The girl has hope and she decided that she cannot leave her boyfriend to die if he is alive. That's why she turned to Stephen's sister for help, who provided Arthur and Sophie with a helicopter. They fly unofficially at their own risk. And so they flew up to the platform. Sophie came down first. Next on it is the equipment and Arthur. They found a map of the platform and started searching. The equipment they took with them came to their aid. With the help of thermal imagers, they find a living Stephen. The sea was covered with a film of oil. 
The oil covered about 100,000 square kilometers and covered more and more by the minute. If the spot reaches the shore, the flora and fauna will completely die and it is not a fact that something will change even after a hundred years. Also, oil will reach the shores of tribute to Germany and the Netherlands. People have never faced such a huge leak and therefore did not know how to act in this situation. The oil slick should reach the shores no earlier than the evening of the next day. But there was one way out. This has not been practiced yet, but the conditions were suitable for burning a spot. Sophie and Arthur finally find Stephen. He was wounded but alive. Sophie helped him out of his hiding place. Meanwhile, in the control center, with the participation of the minister, it was decided to set fire to the spilled oil with the help of bombing. Friends climb up and see that the sea is covered with an oil film. Stephen got through to the control center and asked for help, but they were told that the bombers had already set fire to the oil in the sea and there was no rescue. Sophie comes up with an idea of how to escape. To do this, it was necessary to fill the boat with water and sink below the fire. The fire was approaching, but the friends continued to act. There was already enough water in the boat, but the slug that supplied the water got stuck. When Sophie tried to pull him out but did not calculate the strength and fell hitting her head. But that didn't stop her and they all ran into the boat. Having fastened their seatbelts, they were ready to leave, but something went wrong and the lever stopped working. It turned out that Arthur just forgot to detach one of the stoppers. He decided not to delay and immediately ran out of the boat. The fire was already blazing all around. Stephen remembered that if Arthur unhooked the boat now, he would not be able to escape because the boat would immediately fall into the sea. Arthur without hesitation closed the door to the boat and unhooked it sacrificing himself. Stephen wanted to save his friend, so he unbuckled his belt and headed for the exit. But the boat had already detached itself and was flying down. That's why he hit his head hard and lost consciousness. Sophie tries her best to bring him to his senses because she did not know how to start the pump and pump out unnecessary water from the boat. The boat was sinking lower and lower by the minute. At the very last moment, Stephen woke up. He immediately explains to Sophie where the pump is located and she pumps it out. The water begins to leave at the same second. Sophie can't believe that they are saved and will stay alive. And the boat continued and continued to climb out. Stephen was able to call his friend from the boat and informs them of their whereabouts and that everything is fine with them. His friend says they will pick them up soon and everything will be fine. Stephen asked me to pass the phone to his son, who had been at headquarters all this time and was waiting for dad and Sophie. He tells his son that he and Sophie will be home soon. After a while, a helicopter flew after them and took them to the Sago headquarters on land. Odin, along with his father's friend, stood and waited for Sophie and Stephen, who for a long time could not believe that they were now together and that they remained alive. Only a year later, the smoke from the burning oil dissipated completely. The Sago company earned 10 trillion on oil, but after this tragedy it ceased to exist.